Welcome back to the stream. I'm Brad Edwards. So we got one of these the other day. Remember these? The original search engine. That's what they call it. The good old yellow pages. It got us thinking in 2023, do people use the yellow pages or just the internet? So we said, let's talk about it. So we are talking about it with the CEO and chairman of Thrive, Joe Walsh. Mr. Walsh, thank you for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. Glad to be with you. So uh, tell me about it. I mean, this thing, it's the real deal. Uh, you know, called a couple of numbers, all legit. This is still used. This is still a viable economic device. And surely if you're putting it out, it's still making money in some way, correct? Correct. Yeah. I mean, look, the market decides this. We have a free market economy, right? And uh, the demand for Yellow Pages is less than it was before the internet, but there's still a very strong demand. Uh, you know, the people that are kind of baby boomers, 55 and older, still use printed Yellow Pages in a very strong way. There's over 3 billion references last year to that printed directory. And then we, of course, have online directories as well that get another 4 billion references. So about 7 billion references that we're delivering between the two and the two work very closely together. I'm absolutely stunned. Uh, so I see a ton of like well-known, well-named advertisers here, um, but you know, m much like us, kind of aimed towards what we call an older demographic. That's what we do on, obviously, when you see the news, uh, you see ads for medication galore. Um, but still a ton of ads here. So this thing is, uh, this thing's really an economic engine still. Well, I mean, it's still over a billion dollar business. It's not small at all. It's, right. uh, we talked about the, the total references, seven billion references total, that's big. But I think more importantly, it delivers high action, high converting leads for a low cost. You know, when you think about if you're a small business and you're trying to get customers today. You could go mm -hmm. advertise on Google, which is a competitive auction, so that's extremely expensive. Mm -hmm. You could go on Facebook, which gives you such micro-targeting. It doesn't cost that much, but you, you don't get that much until you spend a lot. Um, what a lot of small businesses do is they advertise in the Yellow Pages because it delivers a really attractive demographic. It delivers that kind of 55 and older mm -hmm. buyer that has a lot of money that's that's willing to spend it you know we a lot of times when we're working with small businesses we ask them who would you rather have walk in here a 30 year old or a 60 year old and they'll say well i'd far rather have a 60 year old contact me to, to work on their house or work yeah. on their car or whatever yeah. they have more money they're easier to deal with and uh that's the market that the directories deliver plus your facebook ad vanishes like a fart in the wind this thing stays around for for, for the year now I, I remember i don't know if this is an old wives tale but you know those old nick nolte movies where they'd run into the gas station and flip through the yellow pages looking for an address of a bad guy and they'd they'd rip one out and they'd be like that's where he is and they'd fold it up and i was and and my parents said it was like defacing you know, like like the holy book, which the yellow and white pages was back then. Uh, is that actually true? No, no. I mean, people use it in whatever way they want. We're glad to have them use it, and uh, it's it's impressive how many people still use the directory. You know, particularly if there's a natural disaster or something. You know, maybe uh, oh, you know we have a flood out. or power goes out or whatever. Uh, the, the, the surge, and because we, we actually track the references to the directories very carefully. We have those phone numbers you see in there are special phone numbers that we count every call and the duration of the call. So we know when the directories are being used. And um, we see surges in usage when there's, uh, you know, maybe a natural disaster or, or any kind of, uh, you know, emergency that happens. One of my favorite movie bits ever, not to harp on the movie bit, is then when, when uh, Steve Martin, who famously played the jerk uh, in the movie The Jerk, uh, and he got the, the white and yellow pages back then, uh, which were obviously personal listings, and he finds his name and he says, Johnson Navin R. I am somebody. I'm somebody uh, now. I, re I'm I remember somebody that very now. well. <laughs> um, but this you know, the phone is, this... book has that officialness to it, and that's one it of the does. things you know, you're 
sort of bemused that people still use it. But there are so many scams on the internet, so many things that we get over our smartphones or over our laptops that, you know, really not sure or legit. That phone book arrived on your doorstep many, many, many months ago and has been sitting in the closet. And when you go there and you look at those ads, those are businesses that were in business that bought that ad over time. And so there's a sense of, 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 of realness, of, of reliability that comes from using the directory. I mean, I was bemused and now I am uh, a convert. I mean, you guys got door-to-door -door salesmen. I'm looking for a side hustle. I was thinking about Uber this morning. I'm, I'm going to this now. We have about a thousand business advisors and our business has pivoted, interestingly. We still obviously publish the directories and we're very enthusiastic about the value they deliver. Since we took the company over nine years ago, we've reduced the prices a lot. So uh, we're really delivering an incredible bang for the buck. The return on investment that a small business gets when they advertise is very strong. But we've also pivoted as a business, this Thrive thing, and my little guy in the background there is all about us modernizing small businesses and delivering a simple cloud-based software tool that they can operate their business on. And so that's really the, been the kind of the, the point of the sphere now for our business is focusing on modernizing small businesses. I'm a convert. All right. Um, this is the most informative interview we've ever had. Folks, use your yellow pages. Uh, CEO and chairman of Thrive, Joe Walsh. Uh, Mr. Walsh, we appreciate your time this Friday. And, and no kidding, that was uh, terribly informative. And uh, thank you for your work and thank you for coming on. Appreciate it. Thanks.